Hi everyone, Jess Danes here. Uh, the summit is fast approaching and so I am just jumping on to answer a couple more questions and to clarify how the summit will be running over the week. So a few people have asked about the summit program and where they can find that. So if you jump onto our website www.aboriginalecc.com the the summit program is there for you to download it has the speakers their bios their session time so all that information is right there at your fingertips the sessions are not live they are pre-recorded except for the live that dr red ruby scarlet and myself will be doing in the evening at five o'clock each afternoon where we're discussing the presentations throughout the day. So it starts at nine o'clock where Red and I will be doing a welcome to the summit and talking a little bit about the speakers that you'll see throughout the day. This goes for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then at 10 is the first session. At 11 is the second and at noon is the third. Most days there are only three um, and then there is a final one at one. So that's for day one. Yeah, so 10, 11 and noon are the session times and the presentations range in duration from 30 minutes to an hour or slightly over an hour. You do not need to watch these live. You can jump on at any time throughout that summit and watch back. So once you get into the summit Facebook group, you'll see units on the left hand side of the page and you'll be able to click on these. There'll also be instructional videos so you can watch the presentations in the order in which they had appeared. So you don't need to worry about joining live. If you're on the floor with children, you can watch them in the afternoon, you could watch them at lunchtime, whatever, or you can join us when they first get uploaded, whatever works best for you. As I've said, the only live session is what Red and I will be doing at five o'clock each afternoon which again will be shared on the page for you to watch back yourselves if you aren't able to join us live during that exact time. You're also able to watch all of the summit workshop sessions up until July 10th. So you have a week after the conclusion of the summit, the official summit on the 3rd, to watch all of the content. So if you're not able to keep up, you, there's too many sessions for you to watch day by day, they'll be available for you at another time. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I'm covering for you. So we will have the unit tabs, the left hand side of the screen. Once you're in the summit group, you'll be able to see the units there, day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. And then within those units or days, there'll be session one, two, three, and four. So it'll be easy for you to go back and find the order, but there'll also be an instructional video once you're in that Facebook group where you can find them. So there's also a summit workbook and that will be sent out to you the Friday before the summit actually commences. And here there's some key points, speaker bios and summaries, additional resources, any references that were mentioned, any tips that I have found or Red has found helpful to share with you. They will all be in the summit workbook, um, which will be a PDF, which you can download, you can print it off, it's yours to keep, you can keep it electronically, whatever works best for you. So that will be emailed and sent out to you the Friday before the summit takes place. On Monday the 6th of July, there will be a survey that is sent out and you have until the 10th of July to complete this survey. And that is how we will be able to allocate NESA hours for you if you are after your NESA accreditation. So you must complete that survey before the 10th of July. So you'll have between the 6th and the 10th of July to complete the summit survey. Uh, and then that's how we will allocate your NESA hours based on your responses to that survey. Throughout the session, if you have any issues logging on, getting access, you can't hear volume uh, or you're confused on how it all works, you can't locate the unit tab or your workbook hasn't ended up to you, you need to email us at info at aboriginalecc.com. Sometimes people will call Red and I, but we really do prefer you to email us because we're not the people that help with all the tech stuff. So we're just going to ask you to email anyway so it gets to the right people people in our team to help support you. So please um, email us info at aboriginalecc.com if you're needing support at any stage we're able to um, assist you that way. Uh, so as 
it is any Facebook group that we have. We will be kicking out anyone that is rude, disrespectful, not being um, supportive of the general nature. So we can all agree to disagree as long as those differing points of view can be shared in a respectful manner. So we just ask everyone that's joining to be open-minded and understanding that everyone is at different stages of their reconciliation journey and knowledge surrounding Aboriginal culture and people. So please just be mindful that we are all at different stages um, and to be kind and courteous to one another. There are also going to be heaps of STEM related products available for you to purchase, which both our speakers have mentioned in, in their sessions or that Multiverse and Kuri curriculum have offered to. So we'll be posting a little bit about that if you're needing extra resources. Quite often the speakers have mentioned resources throughout their presentations that have helped them in their practice and we're doing our best to gather those for you and point you in the right direction of where you can find them. I think that's all I had to tell you, but we are super excited. It is not long to go at all. Um, we have hundreds of educators that have joined us from right around the country, which is super exciting for our first ever online summit. And we can't wait to get to know you all better and share this really amazing content with you all. So not long to go at all now, and I'll see you all in a couple of short weeks. Bye for now.